This video is sponsored by Dollar.gg. Check them out for different gift card boxes for Steam, Xbox, PlayStation, and Amazon. You'll be amazed that you could buy an Amazon box for only $5.99 and win up to a $500 gift card. If you're not from the US, the site will automatically give you gift cards in the currency that you choose. Also note that every time you spend, you get a guaranteed prize. The link to Dollar.gg is in the top of the description. But make sure to be responsible. <sighs> now where do I even begin? I guess we could start on the beach this time. Sergeant? I think we already have our target. Rustified Long. The only place where you could jump on a server halfway through the wipe and be able to find decayed bases full of loot, geared players who have been on the server so long they're bored enough to let their guard down just once for you to make that play. And most importantly, the dream for you to pull off something huge, unlike any other player who's been on this server since day one. Today, those dreams were in the hands of Sergeant Major Deal and I, in a small island in the southwest side of the map. I got the seed from the server and I downloaded it to make the story a little bit easier to understand, because I could tell you that this story takes a turn of events like no other. I would have never expected anything to happen like it did. This has some shit. I got a green card, two green cards. I need a fuse. Oh, there's my fuse. <laughs> Hello, friend. Here, take this shit, and I'm gonna go fill this thing up with water. Uh, here, take these two. Get fill these up. Water real quick. Oh wait, you can't. It's the and, fucking ocean. I'm an IRL, you fucking Popega. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh shit. Hello, please, oh friendly man. I'm just grinding. I don't have anything. To take from my shit. Okay, so this is the introduction of our first main target, or so we thought. His name was Swift Death, and I think we had every reason to assume that he was probably the heli that flew into the compound earlier. I mean, we were at harbor, and that was only like 20 feet from where their base was located. Uh, stay safe, buddy. Stay safe. Oh, uh, okay, thank you. Stay safe, buddy? Stay safe? Really? That was it? No oh, way. This has to match above me. Yeah, just chill one second. He's coming back, I think. No move. See? I knew he was gonna come back and kill me. Nobody in Rust is that nice. Well, pick up your stuff, dude. Alright, what the hell? Can All I right, go up the stairs? Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. A full metal group who roams solo on an island because they think they own the place? Well, looks like this was the perfect place for Sergeant and I to stay. Our initial plan was quite simple. There was only one grinder on the island, so they were bound to go there sooner or later. So, we rack up some guns and DBs and we wait. Ow, that sucks. Bro, why'd you have to shoot at me like that? Come on, man. Sorry, don't hurt me! Headshot him. A lot of components. Did you see this base on your left, by the way? What the fuck? How many windmills is that? 
Sergeant, bird. they're cannibals. Kill hey, them. Get away from my food. Ah! What the fuck you say to me? Oh, hey, hey, there's no need for that. There's no need for that. Uh, uh, ah! No, don't let him kill me. Please. No, please. No, stop. Don't kill me, friend. Stop. Stop. They're trying to trick us. Stay away from them. They want to eat us. Go no, get no, a human meat, dude. Don't do it. Don't do it. Right, don't do it. Come out with a BB boy. Oh. I you shot him. Okay. Well, we'll take a revolver instead. <laughs> I think it'd be it'd go for the better though. Has my like kid right here on me. Shh, shh, shh. He's running. I thought he saw me. Hit him. I fucking whiffed, dude. I whiffed so bad. I'm coming back. We don't have a weapon. Good. Oh shit! He's got a lot of stuff, dude. Kind of curious to see how low I got that dude actually. I'm gonna check combat log really quick. Cause I mean, I missed with my revolver a bunch, but I still hit him with a crossbow, and I think I shot him like twice with a revolver. So there. he's probably fucked up. Yeah. Wait, bro. <laughs> Point eight health. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> well, we racked up quite a bit from that run, and even though we didn't get a DB from it, we did get a revolver and a SAR. So, we decided we'd take the revolver and continue with our plan. Camp the grinder. Okay, take this, this, this. Alright, you're just gonna take this and act like you're grinding. I mean, you don't even need to grind at all until he starts running over. And, uh, I have a revolver and I have scuba gear. So after I kill him, I'm just gonna throw on all the scuba gear and I'm just gonna jump right in the water and swim away. What was that? DB, what are you- Hello? He's dead. <laughs> did you not see him? Is that at me? Yeah, There's it no was- no way he shot at me. Yeah, dude. he did. <laughs> you missed what? completely, but you shot at you and you just stood there without even having a clue what the fuck just happened. Where am I sitting? Anywhere? Just Yeah, just right in front of the grinder. Make sure you're like, kind of in front of the stairs. Absolutely no movement on this base. He might be coming right now. Alright, just wait. He's coming. Is he full gear? Oh, he's right above me. Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Chill. Hey, hey, relax, man. I just want to. I want to get my cloth. <laughs> Hello. He sus, dude. He knows it's a day. Oh. He's up top. He right in the middle. He's gonna have to like. He'll. Yo, you're good. You're good. What? You hid here and not the recycler? It's swift death. I got MP5. Did you have shit on you? Cause I didn't grab any of your stuff. Uh, it's a cross here. Pretty sure. Cross here. Okay. Now. All right. It wasn't that worth. I just wanted to dip. I don't know. I didn't I know if he had more people coming. I can go back and do it. Okay. How was our boat going by? Rib or is it a small Bobbing, boat? Dude. Let me see. Oh shit, that might be them coming back because we just downed their team. It's like a big group, dude. Uh, it's two guys, I think. Oh, oh. they got AK. Pussy ass, bitch. Pussy ass, bitch. Bitch. <laughs> so while we depoted their stuff, that boat actually headed directly back to Swift Death's base. And we decided that we would maybe use that as another chance to get another gear set. This time we need a bait though, so we got Kira online and we asked him to help us. Our plan was just to take the boat and see if they'd come out to get it. Yo. This your boat? I'll bring it back, I promise. 
I promise. I think it's working. I'll bring it back in a few. I just gotta get some components, brother. You want me to go to the right? He's yeah, yeah. Out. just. I think he's coming out. Can oh, yeah, go? he's right in the little slit thing. Just him out. What he's gonna open the gate. Just wait, right just wait, just wait. Now. He's about to shoot me. Whoa, dude! He's not out yet. Is that from the roof? Whoa, what are you doing? Yo, you're good, man. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to shoot at you. My bad. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, he said sorry. He's What'd you say? Dude. Hang on, let me turn off the engine. Alright, I'm gonna talk to him. What'd you say, man? I'm sorry. Well. I'm gonna shoot him. Oh, it's, it's cool, man. I was just borrowing your, your fucking bolt, man. Dead, dead, dead. Oh my god. Oh! I'm still in there. Still in there. I didn't know there was. Okay, nice. Good shit. Grab the low grade and take the uh, mini cup up to the LR, buddy. Oh! Guy up here. Dead, 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 nice. Oh my god, I can loot his body, it's glitch for me. I'm didn't this guy have an LR? Oh not for me. Another MP5 body up here. Bro, how many people died up here? I'm so what the fuck? Oh my god, Kira, you had all the shit. Here, take this. Camp this camp this door with that. We're gonna fly home. Now, you may not remember this, but we left a present at their front door in the form of a rat named Kira. This next bit of dialogue is actually very important and influences a lot of our decision making for the rest of the story. Here, lots of doors, lots of lots. I got another set, but I'm I'm stuck. I have all their lockers. Oh, <gasps> he almost killed me. I killed him though. Yo, can we talk about this? I just want to get out, man. I don't even want to keep fucking with you guys. I feel bad at this point. So, no chance we can, like, just talk about this. Kill them again with a launcher this time. I kind of feel bad for these guys, dude. I think we're bullying them. Dude, he was so nice, dude. No, oh, it's all right. No, take the boat. I'm sorry. I feel bad for shooting you. They're, like, really scared to peek now. <laughs> Killed another the grenade launcher. I'm fucking them up, dude. Yo, we can still talk about this, man. I'm destroying it because I'm like, I'm looking for tools to get out, you know what I mean? It's not because I want to grief you guys or anything. He's negotiating. Should I negotiate? Negotiate. Don't fucking try to trick me, though, because that's fucked up. If you come up here and you try to trick me, can I tell you the one thing that I want from all of this? I'm going to be honest. The one thing I want is this bolt action, dude. Yeah, so how are we going to do this without anybody getting screwed over? Because if someone comes up here with guns, my first instinct is to shoot. I literally have no base. <laughs> I just spawned and some shit was going down here, so I ran over. I swear to God. <laughs> Kira, don't do that. I, I swear to God, and it's lies. Yeah. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Strike me down. Look, you're trying to murder me. You're throwing nades. Deal's off. You're a liar. I trusted you. First step is you need to open this. We'll go to the airlock or the gate or whatever, and I'll, I'll drop you the shit. Oh! Kira? Okay, you guys are you guys are dicks and this relationship is over. You guys are dicks. If you cut the bullshit and just build me out, we would have been done with this one hour ago. The negotiation was taking just a little bit longer than expected, so Sergeant and I decided to head on over there to see if we could persuade them a little bit. Bro, every time you come with this shit and somebody tries to kill me, bro. Every time. I'll... Please, if you really want to, just come up here. This guy tried to nade me just now. Literally tried to nade me. Bro, open the door. This is it. I don't care. Like, you just have to trust me now. I've trusted you so many times, you haven't trusted me once. 
You, I trusted you literally so many times and you guys almost killed me. You just have to trust me once. That's it. That's it. Alright, can I go? Alright, alright. Where are all the guns? I wanna... I took it. Cause you fucking tried to murder me. There's way more stuff. Like, where's all the guns? I took the guns. Are you listening to me? I took the guns because you guys tried to kill yeah, me. <laughs> can you put them down somewhere? So, like, yeah, I'll give it on? to you when you let me out, like I told you. Alright, but where's where's the fucking L9? The L9's in there. Top right of the box. Pay attention. Don't right, act like go. I'm trying to scam you when it's there. Alright, let's go. Come on. Alright, right, open it. Yeah. Alright, come, come then, dude. I'm gonna fucking you. you. Open the door! You're a piece oh of Oh my god, you know come, dude! Are... <laughs> oh, oh my god, come, dude! What are you doing? What the fuck is going on? What are you doing? What are you doing? Did you really survive a rocket? <laughs> Well, these guys must have meant business if they were willing to race a rocket on Kira just so we didn't get outside with that bolty. So that motivated us to do something that we never do. We wanted to take everything they had, and that meant we had to get some rockets. We decided to start small and work our way up. So we grabbed some scrap and we headed to the nearest vending machine that was selling explosive bullets. I'm gonna stay here. <laughs> this is spooky, dude. Oh my god, dude, it's almost fun. Fuck you, say to me, dude. Oh, we're out of fuel. Sergeant, are you. Are you serious? What? <laughs> How much fuel did you put in it? I put 120. I bought 120 right on when we you? left from our base. Did you take it out no, or something? that was 120, apparently. Fuck. Well, at least we could farm while we run back. We farmed every single sulfur node on the way back to our base, all the way into the night. It was actually perfect that we crashed the heli, because the profit that we made on this run was like no other. What do you guys have on you right now? Uh, it's a lot. We went to Outpost, we bought a jackhammer, and now we're jackhammering a bunch of sulfur nodes. And now we have maybe like a row of sulfur. Pretty much like all, like here in a couple seconds, all we need is sulfur. Like yep. That oh, two guys right in front. Three guys, they're super close. They know we're here. Reloaded. They're lit they're, up. They're pretty hurt, I fucked them up there. One's dead, right in front of me. One dead. Okay, nice. I think there's one left. He's dead, he's dead. Nice, good fucking shit, dude. There was three, watch out. I'm pretty sure there's one more, dude, don't- Oh my fucking god, dude. <gasps> They're all three, <gasps> right? Sergeant! Oh my god, what the fuck? What the fuck? We need to fucking go right now, we need to go right now. All right, ready? Let's go, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, at the base, at the base. Geared, the base that, that we were building. Okay. He saw me. Alright, I'm gonna start building. Swift death. Damn, that's close as fuck, boy. <laughs> Hey man. <laughs> well, we claim their gate. Should we just fuck with them a little and see what they do?
Yeah, everything we need, boys. Cover me from the roof, Russ. Fish, wood, ladder. All right, Can you, you, have, you have ladder BP? Nah, but we're fine. Raw bitch. Two rows of meadow. Is that minicopter? Yeah, they're coming in. Coming in right here. I'm betting. Full, full heavy, even if they go in, metal. we can kill him. I headshot him and hit him like seven times. If they go in, we can just kill him and then jump. Him. Holy shit, that dude almost got one health. I'm gonna go in really quick. I'll watch for you. He's trying to come back. Coming back. He can't med and I hurt him a lot, dude. Swift death again. Dude, is this guy? That must be his teammates, right? Hey, brother. Thank you for both you finally, man. That's all I wanted. I'm leaving now, right? GG's. Thanks for the bolty finally. I'm leaving now, alright? GG's. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Damn, he really don't care. <laughs> Stay your homie on the hilly. Okay, so, yes, realization homie. time. What the uh, fuck were we even doing? You know, this isn't me being soft or anything. This is me realizing how toxic I have become and we as a group have become. I mean, what have these guys done to us? Let's really think about it. I spawned in on the beach and I saw them flying into their compound and I wanted to kill them, and that's reasonable. I was then introduced to Swift Death and I thought he was gonna rob my shit, but he took nothing. All he said was, uh, stay safe, buddy. Stay safe. I then camped the grinder and waited for him to go there again so I could kill him and take a shit, but I mean, that's still reasonable for Rust. What? You hid here and not the recycler? Now here's where I think we may have crossed the line a little bit. Kira stole his rib to bait him outside of his base, but instead of him killing Kira, he said... Oh, it's cool, man. I was just borrowing your, your fishing boat, man. <laughs> Jesus, man. We then proceeded to take their shit and then kill them again and take more of their shit. And then we took their heli, too. Oh, and don't forget about the main reason we wanted to raid them, the rat that we left at their front door. We literally fucking griefed them with a 2x2 two two right in front of their base, and we took everything out of their furnaces. Okay, that's enough. Alright, I'm done. See, that's it. We've done enough to these guys, is what I'm trying to get at. But... We racked up a box and a half of sulfur over the span of two hours with this motivation that we had in our heads to want to take down these people. Now that was impressive, but we could use those explosives elsewhere. As a matter of fact, we could test these guys and see if they really were as nice as they seemed. And then maybe we could take out somebody who they wanted to raid to give them a decent ending to a whole day of hell. For the past hour, Kira was just AFK at the 2x2 he made in front of their base, and they honestly became pretty good friends. And that was when we decided to test them. We would build a base, and have Kira ask for help to boost up, and there would be a bunch of loot. We'd have to see if he killed Kira for all the loot. Doesn't even need TC or anything. No, it does, it does. Can you box. destroy that wall? I saw a couple... Couple bases on us. Check out. Maybe you can help. I need a boost. It's pretty close. So, if anything happens here, you'll hear it. But I promise you, we wouldn't do Small that. Boxes. Somewhere around here. Okay, so when you boost up here, just grab my kit and then just say you found like a shit ton of fucking stuff up here. Just say like, oh, I got a two stacks of high qual and an inventory of sulfur or something. Just make nah, them think they have nah. a bunch as well as the metal okay, set. Okay, okay. I don't know, there was a bunch of shit in the bottom, but I couldn't make it to the top, and I could see that there was more boxes up top. Pretty sure there's gonna be more loot. If you boost me, we can split the loot, or I'll give you some, some shit. I don't know, man, just trying to have a little fun before fucking, you know, whatever. Better than sitting around doing fuck all, doing why these farmers farm, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, <man. laughs> Right, Kira, it's literally directly to your right, up the hill. Oh, it's right here, it's right here. The moment of truth. It was finally time to see whether these guys were the nicest players on the server. It's right here, it's right here. 
Yeah, you don't have a torch, right? Okay, okay, so give me give me a boost. It's right here. I think there's some more shit below. You should check it out. I can't see much, but there should be some shit. Oh! Oh, dude, there's some shit up here, bro. Yo, 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 look down there. Look down there. I'm sure, I think there's some loot. There's a bunch. There's high qual. There's gear sets. There's fucking sulfur. Hang on. We'll split it, dude. There's two rolls of sulfur. A bunch of high qual. Full metal set. There's goods. What? Uh, I think there might be enough shit to break the TC. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see. It's because it's dark as fuck, so I can't see, bro. I'm going to wait a little bit for daytime so I can see if there's anything else up here. There's so much. He's dude. in there right now. Oh, he has it. The DB's on his back. Can you see well now? I'm coming down. Nah, this is it. It was dark, but I can see everything now. Oh, I got everything, dude. It's so much. Hang on. Give me a sec. Let me fucking split this with you. Dude, come over, come over, come over. What's he saying? Did he say it was a prank, dude? Just tell him. <laughs> Why? He dropped the DB he and he told me he would take you. it if you want to feel more safe. Oh take my god. Take that stuff. Dude, this dude's too nice. And take this stuff. Take this stuff. Alright, dude, my friend has something, dude, to, tell friend you, something to tell you. Dude. Hey, we're sorry, man. <laughs> you've been you've been pranked. You've been pranked. This was a setup, dude. We were trying to test to see if you were actually friendly enough to what? not DB. Okay. We realized that we have been being dicks to you all today and we took all your what? fucking shit. So we wanted to try to give you and we, we realized we were too mean to you and we wanted to see how nice you were because if so, we weren't going to actually raid you. We've been farming up all the day to raid you and we decided that that might have been a little too harsh. Wait, wait, hold on. Did y'all just make this like <laughs> literally two seconds ago? So I did not see this earlier. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it was just a test. We had to know if you were as kind as we thought you were, sir. You told my friend you had enemies on the east side of the map, so we thought we could help you raid them instead of us raiding you guys. Oh, the window guys? Yeah, they have a base further up, that metal base. Is, you saw the, like you saw where the heli went? That's where I, I didn't know that was yeah, the base yeah. as well. Okay, come here really quick. Let me show you where our base is. I'm pretty sure I already know where it's at. Is it that little base down there in the water? Our beautiful base. Yeah, I already knew yeah, you lived. You yeah. killed me out of it like three times. <laughs> you guys were so nice pretty much the whole time, so, you know, it felt kind of wrong, man. Actually, I think I helped Sweetie out earlier because I remember the name Sweetie. Oh, God. Yeah, you did. I, think I, I downed you. Them, maybe? No, I, I downed you at the grinder. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> no, no. We're the bad guys. <laughs> we're the man. evil we're people the here. Guys. I'm sorry. Your kindness just saved your whole group's base. How do you feel? We just hope random players have like a little bit of hours. We can work together to get your your enemies. Yep, so we have a bunch of sulfur, so we could probably guys. hit them tomorrow if we farm a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure if, if, I, if we gather up everything we have in our three bases, we can. Yeah, it's late as fuck, but we'll farm our dicks off tomorrow. All right, man, we're gonna log oh, off. All right, brother. All right, brother. Good luck, man. Good luck. Man, what man. about the big ass ship on the front oh, of his base? Way, our uh, base. Okay, y'all like. Open the doors on that little base shell though, to pick up the floor and the foundation to the pit, uh, like a jackass. <laughs> oh, we should, yeah, yeah. we'll do that. We'll demolish it, or we'll just get rid of the- Just empty, uh, just empty, just empty the TC, let, let it decay overnight so you don't have to pickaxe it. Uh, yeah, I could do that, actually. Alright, bye. <sighs> Holy shit, that was a long conversation. We were all exhausted. I think it's a more interesting turn of events. Dude, we're... I mean, if we're gonna get on beforehand, right, but... They would raid us, dude. His, His friends would get be on like, earlier. Dude, th this is where they live? This fucking base? Let's raid them, dude. Sergeant may have been right, but only time could tell. We would have to wait until tomorrow morning to see if we were raided. We armored up our base and we stacked the TC, and we logged off.
Oh, not raided, boys. Nobody was on yet, but we had a lot of stuff that we needed to do before the big raid. So, I went and gathered some wood for the furnaces, headed out to the ocean to gather some components, and then went to the grinder to get some scrap. What's up, fuckers? What's, What's up? up? My brothers, my gangsters. It was just a matter of time now. We had to wait for the furnaces to smelt, and other than that, we had nothing much to do. Kira continued to farm while Sergeant gathered wood for the furnaces, and I worked on the base. Wait, there's hello shots here. I'm going. Where are you? Narnia? They're doing something. I think they're like creating something. Oh, you're way over there. If I die here, it's GG. There's two stars. Three. Can we can take do? a boat over to you. You guys want a boat over, dude? Yeah. I can just watch right now. I'm dead. Bro, fuck this shit, dude. Oh, he's right in front, right in front, right in front. Holy fuck. I don't like this. Am I shooting invisible bullets? I'm dead. You're only down, you should say that next time. I almost just killed you. I killed two. 50 expo rounds. Check the health then, maybe they didn't finish. Yeah, I mean, these, there's a bunch. Yeah, it's 73 health, I could finish right now. Holy fuck. This might be fucking loaded, loaded. Eighty-three high call in this box. This box of wood. Second box of wood. Oh my god, a row of high qual and two rows of metal frags. Bro. What? If this thing has sulfur, we're set for this raid. Box of sulfur, three rockets. Uh, box of sulfur, you're fucking. One dead. whole box of sulfur. What? Put metal kit in here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, I don't think we need to do any more farming. Just need to cook? Nope. <laughs> we need to make fucking three more furnaces. Good shit. Yeah, where are we putting all this, dude? <laughs> yeah, where are we putting all this, dude? We used our scrap to research the explosives and rockets, but we needed more for the tier 3. So, we went to our new friends to see if they were online and possibly wanting to trade high qual for scrap. Just check. See what you got, and I don't know, like 400 scrap, maybe something around that. If you got it, that would help us a lot. Oh, all right. all right, okay, sweet. Well, I'll go get the fucking. Ask him if we can use the heli really quick. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Really? Yo, can oh, I? Mess with the heli? Yo, can I use the heli to go grab the high coal, and then I'll bring the high coal over 150? Let's we'll buy the heli off of him for high coal. I'm, I'm, I'm a professional pilot, dude. Good shit, bro. Good shit, boy. Well, deal, bro. Yeah, let me know if you want to do it again. Good, man. See you later. Well, now we can make it tier three.
We were on the final step before the big raid. All we had to do was turn all this GP into rockets. While I was crafting, Kira made a run to their base to create a new team with them, and then came back and invited me. With all the sulfur we had, we were able to craft around 40 rockets, and Swift Death and his group were able to craft around 20. We wanted to cut through this base like a hot knife through butter. We didn't want any mishaps. We ready tomorrow? Yeah, we should. Let's get into a Discord call. What up? Alright, I crafted a bunch of rockets first of all, but um... We got off on the wrong foot, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it was also, probably our, our fault. We even split up last night after that. Yeah, you guys were honestly nice the whole time, dude. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, we weren't, I wasn't as nice as I could be, but like... No, I dude, you were nicer than literally 100% of every single Rust player on this <laughs> I, I was pretty legit, like, when I was saying what I was meaning, but my group just kept fucking running up, trying to kill you. And nah, I was nah, like, dude, I was inside your base. You didn't have to be nice then, bro. But I know, I didn't have to be, but... We need a launcher too. Yeah, you think you can make a, another one? I don't know Whoa. how we're trying yo. to like split yo. this up, you know. We just yeah. can make half, half boom, like half each. We, I mean, we got explosives. Yo, what's up? Too. Hey. What's up, what's up? For me, it's not as much about the profit as much as it is the friends we made along the way. True. Oh, yeah, dude. True, dude. Once morning arrived and we finally got acquainted with all of our friendly teammates, we all met up outside of our base, and then we went to go on our final raid against the windmill base. To put into perspective what was going down, Swift's base was over here in the top left, and they ran down to our base right here on the coast, then we all ran south to the windmill base which was located along this river. About 100 meters up is what we assumed was the main vault, so we'd set up a raid base in between the two. What do you think, closer or right here on this flat? Close as possible, no? I mean, up here is good though, right? This raid went about as buttery smooth as we expected it to. And to top it off, they were all online. Double headshot, he's dead, he's dead. Headshot him. Heli flying. Dead. He's probably dead. Heli flying, heli flying. Oh, that's dead. Dead, 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 dead. Good dead. shit, good shit. Shot him. That, was, oh, that was four kit. Oh that? that was insane. He rocket. <laughs> he got not ready for that. Yeah, he rocketed us. Oh, he rocketed us and he got dropped. Yeah. Here we go, where are we going? Oh, in the helicopter! Dead. Nice. Okay, okay. Get TC, Pushing get TC in. down. Build, 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 TC right here, TC right here. Yo, he's in there yep. somewhere with the loot. All these boxes are, are fucking completely Where? empty. This one on the Good right. Boys. That's it. Oh, we should've go armored door. We should've grabbed yeah. right there. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Ready? Oh, we got more loot. Oh my god, it's got so many metal frags, yeah, bro. Yeah. So much cloth. Wow. Oh, the, oh, 3,000, 4,000 oh scrap. So more scrap. 15, Holy crap. shit. Boom. Got it. Last one. Components. 360. Get him. Get him. Yeah. Mad components. They're blaming all of us are hacking right now. There. <laughs> Look at chat. Yeah, oh great. man, so they have so much shit, dude. No, it's beyond. It's beyond shit, dude. It's crazy. Do we have enough boxes? Dude? Okay. Do you? Does anybody else have rockets on them right now? Nope. Nope. Okay. So all we have is nine rockets left in the stack. Oh my god! Wait, did you guys check the scrap in the fucking barbecue? 
<laughs> just grab that barbie. Yeah, there oh. should be five. It's like a row, yeah? No, no two rows. Two row. Come, come, come. This one, this one. No, no, this one, this one, this one. What the fuck? How did we miss that? Oh my god. Look at that barbecue <laughs> right here, bro. Oh, oh. No, I, I'm. Am I? Am I opening the same box? No, 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 no. <gasps> what the fuck? Uh, it's two. <laughs> I thought I was opening the same box, dude. Wait, what? It's two. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should hit it straight from the side. And with nine rockets left and two stacks of explosive ammo, we are also able to take out the windmill base. You just want to take a peek. Yeah, it's all full. Holy Jesus. shit! Oh my god, you can see it from here! Oh my god, bro. <laughs> full metal setup here. Full of stone. Oh. There it is, boys. And there's their helis. Oh my god, wow. a full box of cloth as well. Wow. And here they are. Parzival? Is that who you guys are looking for? Yeah. I yeah. Oh you. my god, I'm so mad. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. god. Oh what? my god. <laughs> that oh my is god. a lot of <laughs> yeah, can a couple <laughs> Oh my god. I just want to buy some. Yeah, I think we can buy some jackhammers. Yeah, go go take this to your base, guys. Please. Like, we shouldn't keep this here. Just take all the crap? Yeah, all right, take, take all the crap. Yeah. Alright, brothers. Alright, I think we're ready. ready. <sighs> what a day. The most unexpected series of events that I have ever had in Rust. But I wouldn't trade it for any other day. Goes to show you that you never know what may happen if you're open to new friendships. I sure as hell am glad that I met this group. They are some of the most genuine and nicest people that I have ever met in Rust. Oh, and I never introduced King Panda. He was a young Indian kid it sounded like who didn't have Discord I think? But this is what he had to say about the raid. Panda, what do you think of this farm? And if you're wondering how we split the loot, well, that all went to Swift and his team, because we are getting off that server and we wouldn't need it. And as a good friend of mine once said, To me it's not as much about the profit as much as it is the friends we made along the way. And so we end up back on the beach, back in the same spot where it all began.